internet, I'm Mike, and I have opinions. Last time I talked about comics and briefly mentioned the cancellation of a book called The Legion of Superheroes. It's a book about superpowered heroes 1,000 years in the future. The characters have ranged in age over the years, but for the majority of their history, they've been teenagers inspired by the history of Superboy or Superman. The book has a very long history, debuting in 1958, making this team of heroes one of the oldest in comics. Sadly, it's this long history that tends to prevent new readers from coming in. It doesn't help that the publisher seemed intent on pleasing those of us in the core fan base who wants to see the classic version of the characters. This saddens me, because at one time The Legion was one of the top-selling books in comics. Both it and the new Teen Titans sold like gangbusters in the early 80s, even outselling the X-Men. Oh yes, you heard me. Hell, without The Legion, you wouldn't even have the same X-Men you have today. Dave Cockrum, when he left DC for Marvel, took many costume designs and characters that DC wouldn't let him do and used them in the X-Men. The best example of this is a little character named Nightcrawler. He was supposed to be a Legionnaire, but DC higher-ups thought the character was too scary. Yeah, I don't get it either. Hell, Wolverine, as we know him, had his roots in the Legion member Timberwolf. The recent feralizing of Timberwolf is really just doing what they were doing back in the late 70s. Look at the Shi'ar Imperial Guard, then go look at a Legion roster from the time. And guess what? The Imperial Guard are all Legion analogs. Hell, Wolverine wore the Timberwolf analogs costume for a while. Yeah, the X-Men owe a lot to the Legion, which makes it worse that most people have either never read the Legion or never heard of it. The recent cancellation was sort of a mercy killing. Between editorial meddling and a bit of floundering about, it was for the best. When it eventually returns, and it will, it'll most likely get a reboot to fit better with the current shape of the DC Universe. And I'll be there waiting, along with the rest of my fellow Legionnaires. Long live the Legion. Until next time, I have opinions, and so should you.